Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sephora makeup haul. A month or two back I placed an order on Sephora on the US website. Living in Australia it is definitely harder to get some of the new release products on the Sephora Australian website because they do launch a lot later. So what I like to do is use a shipping service. I use one called Com Gateway, and this allows me to order products from the US Sephora website and then I just pay the shipping to get them shipped to me so that way I can get them a lot quicker and also a little bit more cheaper with the US price. So I did do two separate orders and they both came in the mail two days ago so I wanted to save them to do a haul so I could show you guys what I got. So if you'd like to see what products I picked up in this makeup haul then please keep watching. For the first order there was a sale going on with Tarte Cosmetics and I really wanted to try out some of the new Rainforest of the Sea collection that had launched. So I went on to Com Gateway and ordered a few of the products on the US website. So firstly I got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I was really really excited to try this foundation out. First of all the whole range just looked amazing. The packaging was incredible. I just love the idea of a water foundation and this one has one of those little dropper bottles to it. So I was really eager to try this one out. So this is the bottle here and it is absolutely beautiful. I love the top of it here, the lid is like a really beautiful ombre purple up to gold colour. I picked up the shade medium tan sand in this one which I think is going to be really good for when I do have a tan. So hopefully this does work out for me. So what you do is you press the top of this pump down a couple of times and that brings the foundation up into the little dropper and then that way you can squeeze out how much product that you're wanting to use. So what you do is unscrew the top lid here. You can see it's got this really cool dropper and you just press the pump and a little drop will come out each time. So this is a really cool idea for packaging so that way you're not pouring out too much product at a time. I find even using a pump sometimes you can just pump out way too much product. So I think this dropper idea for foundation is really cool so I wanted to try this one out. So I've just pulled up some of the information on this foundation on the Tarte website. And it does say that it is a lightweight full coverage hydrating foundation infused with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Complex. So the moment I saw hydrating foundation, I definitely wanted to try it out because I do have dry skin. So I'm always on the lookout for a new hydrating foundation that's not gonna look too matte on my skin. It also says that it delivers ultra hydration boosting coverage with 12 hour water foundation. So it is a 12 hour wear product which I thought is really good because you do want your foundation to last all day long. And it does say that this foundation has 20% water to quench dry skin as it covers and marks any redness, dark spots and uneven skin tone while softening the look of pores and fine lines. So I'm really hoping this foundation is going to work out for me. I think I might do a first impression of this as I haven't used it yet. And that way I can show you guys how this foundation looks and how it wears on the skin. The next product is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer. So I really wanted to try this one out because it's meant to be a really lightweight, watery textured concealer so it's not meant to dry out under the eyes or look too heavy or cakey. So I really wanted to try this one out with the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. So this is the product there. This is a really cute little frosted glass bottle and it's got the same lid as the foundation so I'm just in love with this packaging. I got this one in the shade Light Medium so I think this is going to be really good for highlighting on the skin as well being a slightly lighter shade and also for concealing so I'm really excited to try this one out and I've just put up the information on the Tarte website for the concealer and it says it is a lightweight 12 hour concealing serum offering buildable medium coverage with skin smoothing benefits so that all sounds amazing I'm really hopeful that this is going to work out for me so I might use this in my first impression with the foundation just so you can see how they look together and how both products work it also says it masks imperfections while sealing in radiance and hydration with this buildable medium coverage concealing serum. So it's going to be a really nice light to medium coverage, nothing too heavy that's going to look too cakey or too dry under the skin. So I'm really excited to try this one out. And from the same Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection, I also picked up this Skin Twinkle Highlight Palette. So this is the box here. The packaging of these is just all amazing. So I don't think I'll be able to throw the boxes away. And this is the palette. So such beautiful blue and green tones. It looks like the sea. It's just absolutely amazing. And then on the back is the gold packaging. And it does tell you all the different shades that are in this highlight palette. So when you open this one up, it's got a nice big mirror on the top there. And then these are the three highlighting shades. There is two shimmer shades and one matte 
shade in the middle which a lot of people were confused about what to use this for but I believe this is just like a setting powder that's meant to highlight underneath the eyes and down the center of the face well that's what I'll be using it for at least and then you've got this really beautiful nice highlighting shimmer shade to use on top of the cheeks down the center of the face and this one here is a little bit more of a lighter tone a little bit more of a gold and this one's slightly more of a champagne beige tone so I think they are all going to look extremely beautiful on the skin. I can't wait to try this one out. So those are the swatches of the two highlighters. You can see this one's a little bit more of that softer gold tone. This is a bit more of a champagne color. So they're both incredibly beautiful. They're very smooth to the touch, so they don't tend to have a lot of fallout and they're very, very creamy. So I think these are gonna blend beautifully on the skin. And with this order, I also received a couple of samples, which is always good when you make an order. That way you can try out some extra products. So I did receive from the same Tarte collection the Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I thought I was going to buy this one, but I'm glad I've got a little sachet to try. That way I can see how it works before I spend the money on the full product. Then I also got this little towelette here. This is the Tarte Brazilians Skin Rejuvenating Maracuja Self Tanning Face Towelette. I've heard really good things about these. I'm always looking for new self tanning products and these ones are meant to be really good for tanning your face because usually I don't tan my face when I put a self tan on just because it can make your skin break out and it can look a little bit patchy at times as well so using something like this I think is going to be really good. Now moving on to the second order, the first product I purchased was this Anastasia Brow Definer Pencil. I've been wanting to try this one out for such a long time so when I made an order I decided to get this one. The packaging of this is so beautiful, it's a rose gold, it's just... oh. Why do they make them so amazing? Now I don't want to throw out any of the boxes that I've got. And so this is the pencil. I picked this one up in the color dark brown. So I think this is going to work really well with my brow color. I do use chocolate in the brow wiz and I have been finding it looks a little bit too warm, a little bit too reddish on my eyebrow. So I'm hoping the dark brown is going to work better for me. So it does have the two ends just like the brow wiz. So the first end has the little brow brush, which is slightly different to the brow wiz one. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker, but I think this is going to be really good for combing through your brows first. And then the second end here has the triangulate shaped brow crayon, so I'm interested to see how this works. Some people love it, some people hate it from reviews I've seen, so I'm going to make up my own mind. I think this is going to be really good for creating a really nice shape to the brows, so I'm excited to try this one out and see how it looks. And the last product I picked up was probably the one I was most excited for. When this came out, I couldn't help it, I had to pick it up. Urban Decay does such amazing collaborations and when I saw this collaboration for the Alice in the Looking Glass movie, I definitely knew I had to get it. And so it is the eyeshadow palette. So first of all, this box that it comes in is just incredible. The colours and the packaging is so beautiful. And then on the back here, it's got all of the eyeshadow colours. So there's quite a nice range of colours in this one, which is why I decided to pick it up because I am a neutrals girl. I usually tend to go for more neutral eyeshadow palettes, but I wanted to step out of my comfort zone a little bit, so I wanted to get something with more colour. So this one was perfect. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It comes in this really cool box here, and this is the most exciting part of the whole eyeshadow palette, I think, is when you open the top here. Hold on, let me see if I can... So it's got this nice mirror up the top and it's got this little saying on the front here which says, I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. So I thought that was really quirky and something cool that's definitely appropriate for the Alice in the Looking Glass movie. And then the best part is these two little windows open up. So you just pull these little tabs here. And this is, oh my god, when I saw this I just couldn't believe it. That is like a little butterfly that comes out in the middle. So <laughs> it definitely went all out with the packaging Urban Decay. They always have the most creative type packaging, I believe. So this sucked me in alone, but I did love the colors of the eyeshadows. So if we close that up and then you pull out the eyeshadow palette down the bottom here. So I might take this out so you can see it a bit better. So this is the palette. It does come with a little jewel ended brush. So one side's more of a pencil brush and one side's like a fluffy blending brush. So I thought that was really handy and that sits in the bottom here. And then these are the colours of the palette. Isn't it just beautiful? Oh my god. I'm just so in love with it. There's a really good range of matte and shimmer shades in this palette as well. So you can create so many different looks and there is 
some nice neutral shades in there as well. So you can always create something very natural or you can be a bit more daring and bold and go for some of these more brighter colors at the top. So I'm very, very excited to try out this palette. And so those are some of the swatches from the palette. They are really, really beautiful and pigmented. They are so incredibly smooth to touch. There was no fallout when I was mixing my finger in there. It was just amazing. So I'm really excited to try these. I think they're going to blend really well on the eyes. And the pigment is just so intense and beautiful. So can't wait to try out this Alice Through the Looking Glass eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay. Then I also received a few more samples with this order. The first product I got was the Their Real Push Up Liner. I haven't actually tried this one before. So really excited to try it out. So it's just a really nice, cute sample size. And the second sample I received is this Sephora Total Age Defy Night Cream. I haven't tried any of Sephora's skincare before, so really looking forward to trying this one out and seeing how it works for me. And then this one here I was really excited about. This is from Origins and it is the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I've been meaning to get this eye cream for quite a while, so now I've got a sample to try, but first of all, I can see how I like it and then I'll probably pick up the full product of this one. And it just got really dark outside all of a sudden, so sorry for the lighting. So those were all of the makeup products I purchased in my Sephora makeup haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You saw some products that you might have been wanting to try out and you can see how they look and I will be doing some reviews of those in upcoming videos and I'll definitely be using the eyeshadow palette very soon. I want to do a tutorial with that so much. I'm so in love with that one. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. There are lots more videos coming shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.